on guys, it's the Iguana Man. Today we are chilling with James. Hey, AJ man, 79 full type of stuff, Parkway. Oh, look at that. What's good guys? It's the Iguana Man. Thanks for checking out this video. Now today, we are going to be meeting up with some friends and we are going to see how many iguanas we can fill in this cage. Just to help us out, we have some fresh fruit that includes pineapples, watermelons, we got some cantaloupe in there. That is some of the iguana's favorite foods. Let's start catching. Oh, look at that. Dude, look at all those birds that are coming. Hey, we go by the Iguana Boys. YouTube and Instagram, you guys can follow them at Iguana Boys. Looking lovely. Okay. And What's uh, up, baby? oh, there goes your... We got some fans, baby. They hey. was out yesterday admiring our iguanas and everything. Get it, bro. Oh, look oh, at bro, that. I see an iguana. I see two iguanas. They're coming out. Yeah. On this fruit right now, hoping we can catch some iguanas. Whatever we catch, we are going to put them in that cage. We got you guys some merch. Oh, God. You know, he's flexing a little bit. How does it fit, man? It fit all right. There you go, man. There you go. There's some giant iguanas posted up right there. Bro, he's shaking his head at us. Horses in the bag. You got him. You got him. Oh my gosh. Oh! Guys, we got our first iguana. We're gonna go ahead and put him in this pen. We got one iguana so far. Dude, oh my. Oh. Bro, oh, gosh, oh, oh, I get it, bro. Hold on, it's okay, bro. Let him calm down for a second. Got him. Got my long sleeves on today. I learned that from Big AJ. Big AJ, man. Going into the cage. Oh, oh. oh. horses in the back. You got him. Oh my gosh, guys. This is insanity right now. Check this out. For the iguanas. Oh! Did you? Yeah, it caught my leg. Dude, one escaped. One escaped. What is Oh. Oh, no! Relax. Oh! Oh, Straight like that, bro. Ah! He got the claws, Amber. Hey, yo, listen. He escaped the cage. He escaped the cage. But that super that. sneaky iguana. Look at that. He's not afraid at all. Oh. Ah. Yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. Look at the. Oh. 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 We have three. Check them out. Oh. I do. Shoot, do you think we can get 20 of them in there? Yeah. Cool. That's possible, bro. On the table, pop down, buddy. Got a big monster. Woo! It's probably the biggest one of the day, y'all. He's right here working on this nice little green iguana. Oh my gosh. He's awake. He's awake. Oh no, he wrapped himself up. Bro, you all right, man? Yeah. That thing caught me up. Ah! It's doing it again. I'm telling you, man, these iguanas are something else out here, dude. Go ahead. Oh. Woo. Cage is looking healthy, man. Oh, dude. I got a first aid kit, bro. Don't worry, all right? I don't know. It hit me up this one. Well, I don't know. Oh, James is on another one. Oh! He out of my hand. Oh, dude! Iguanas can remove their tails as a self-defense. If a predator goes after him, he can voluntarily drop it, the predator will have it, and the iguana will make a clean escape. Oh my gosh. So what we're gonna do is you guys you guys snare him and I'm gonna grab him, alright? Alright. This is the right way you wanna grab an iguana. You wanna go right behind his shoulder, like that. There you go. And make sure and grab his tail so he doesn't, you know, get any funny ideas. There. Oh, he's up on his feet. Oh my god. The dude loud hanging out. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, they're on another one. They're on I another one. Here, here. Just grab him. Look, look, bro. Just like this. Just like that, bro. Look at that. He's got a blade of grass in his mouth. There's a whole bunch. Look at all these iguanas. After all that iguana action, we had to just chill and take a look at our catches. We caught some really nice ones, including this alpha. Oh, look at this alpha. Smack. Bro, he is so feisty. Oh. We only had a couple more iguanas to go. Try to run. Oh, dude, this is a... Oh, shit. Really strong iguana. Hey, oh, got did. me, bro. Ah. I'm gonna release into this pen. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, guys, we need two more iguanas. Can we do it? Yeah. And see how they're both standing with their heads up and their dewlaps out? Right. Yeah, those are both alphas, right? Hey. Hey. Oh. Got him. You got him. When you get a big iguana like this, you want to make sure he fights and gets tired. You don't want to try landing him right here because a really good chance of you getting scratched, tail whipped, or even bit. Learn from AJ's problem. Buddy, let me see if I can go in for the double-handed grab. <gasps> double-handed iguana grab right here, guys. Do not attempt or try. This is one of those really feisty iguanas, guys. Now, like He's just ready to strike at anything that gets close to him. Oh, watch out for that, too. All right, guys, I'm inside the cage. Uh, we have all different sizes, all different colors. We have juveniles, we have females, we have males. We even have this giant orange alpha male. Check him out. Iguanas lined up in the cage. Oh, he just went Watch for my out, toe. Bro. This was all a challenge to see if we can catch 20 iguanas. We weren't able to make it happen this time, but I'm really glad that we were able to catch 10 of them. We have this really cool alpha iguana right here. This is like the show. Oh. Oh, cool. oh. And big AJ. Big AJ, man. Open up this cage. Okay. And we are going to release these iguanas. Is, is the, that alpha? the alpha's not taking over nowhere, bro. Oh, bit a chunk out of it. Oh, oh! This challenge was an amazing opportunity for us to go out there and see how many iguanas we can catch in a very small time frame. Thank God for this cage. We were able to put everybody in there and really see the numbers. I think we had about 10. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. It's the Iguana Man signing out, you guys. And until next time, guys, just keep on catching. What's going on, guys? It's the Iguana Man. Yeah, he was asleep, but we were able to catch him, so. Really proud of that. Check them out. You want to hold iguanas, little ones like this, by the back legs, and this will prevent him from wiggling around, scratching you, biting you. All their power is in their back legs. So once you hold them like that, I mean, it's safe to say that you got them. Our little iguana friend, and we put him in this little backpack. As you guys can see, I left a little hole so he can breathe. He's gonna feel safe. He's gonna feel relaxed. And he's gonna feel like he's in a nest. So curious to see how they're gonna sleep tonight. We're gonna interact when they're up and awake with each other. Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at the mess inside my car. The reason I'm tearing up my car, guys, because I just wanna show you. Holy smokes. God. I mean, it's just bad news for everybody, man. It's gonna be really bad news for him if he overheats and eventually dies. And also, I mean, it's not the most pleasant thing to have a rotten animal like, you know, underneath your dash and stuff. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this, y'all. I'll try to... I'm gonna have to get this boy out of here. Like I said, man, if he was to be stuck in here like that, he would most definitely die. Uh, especially in this Florida heat. He's wedged in there really well. Oh my gosh. Honest, they're used to digging holes and stuff like that, so I'm guessing he kind of escaped a little bit. And he went underneath... He went underneath here. And he went up there. I don't know if y'all can see his tail or not. Let me see. Yep, there goes his tail right there. Dude, how? Well, I'm happy that we got his head out. Oh. 